So that was one of the best qualifying sessions I have ever seen. Lando Norris on pole, George Russell second, Yuki Tsunoda P3, Esteban Ocon P4, Liam Lawson P5. Both Red Bulls out in Q2. This is unbelievable and a massive turning point in the championship. I mean, the rain seriously mixed things up, didn't it? And there were so many red flags, with drivers such as Fernando Alonso, Carlos Sainz and Alex Albon going off. And the intensity of the rain was so unpredictable that at the restarts you just had to be out there doing laps at the earliest opportunity. And yeah, as I say, it was Norris who was able to take pole in one of the craziest qualifying sessions I've ever seen. Now the big talking point from qualifying was Max Verstappen, 100%. As I said, he was knocked out in Q2 and 12th, and due to having a 5 place grip penalty for changing his engine, he starts 17th. Now the reason Max is in this position is because of Lance Stroll. With around 1 minute 37 seconds to go, Stroll put it in the wall at turn 3, and Verstappen was going through the first corner when it happened. Obviously the yellow flag was brought out, and Verstappen had to back off, which ruined his lap, and he didn't get a chance for another one because the red flag was called. But there has been a lot of talk around the timing of the red flag. Firstly, at the time of the crash, Verstappen was P10 and through. And if the red flag had been pretty instant, he would have been through in Q3. And even if he was dropped to P11 and the red flag was still quick, the session maybe could have restarted. As the time for a lap in these conditions is around 1 minute 24. And as I said, Stroll crashed with 1 minute 37 remaining. But instead, after Stroll crashed, the double yellow was waved and lots of drivers past that section of track on laps could complete their times, with the red flag coming out much, much later. And yeah, Verstappen was pushed into the drop zone and never had a chance to complete a lap after the Stroll crash, whereas others did. And I'm interested to know why the red flag wasn't quick. And obviously Verstappen was not happy, with him being unimpressed with the 40 second delay between Stroll's crash and the throwing of a red flag. He told Sky F1, If a guy goes straight into the wall, it's a straight red. I don't understand why it needs to take 30 to 40 seconds for a red flag to come out. And when suggested it had been to allow some drivers to finish their laps, Max replied, I don't care in all honesty, it's so stupid to talk about, it's ridiculous. Now just on another note, during qualifying Alex Albon suffered a big crash with him going off at the first corner in Q3. He's okay which is good news, but he won't be taking part in the Grand Prix due to the damage sustained to his car. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and until the next one, take care.